I'm scared for the winter now. if it's this cold. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone f discover anything new? In anything? Any interesting news? Any what? I don't know. Talk about a heart attack. <laughs> Middle of the episode. Yes, indeed. There's a library and a pool, a freaking pool, and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Hey, well, hey, there's no reason to go with Sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! The warehouse and bath house on the... Yeah, the warehouse and bath house on the first floor of the dorms are now open! And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever else you want. There's so much, it's insane! So go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. <laughs> are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, I wonder the fucking way out of here. You find anything like that? Uh, oh, well, um. What? There wasn't anything what? in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Unfortunately, no, that's not what I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking what? people. Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? We're still trapped in this Peter sh uh, shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. Now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on. Adaption is the key, yeah. For now, we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of. What do you say, you fucking loon? <clears throat> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone else know if you discover something. So then. So what are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seems to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and trade that out? Dong, ding. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not a mu much else we can do. <laughs> not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even a normal girlfriend, which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. Okay, stop fucking adding us, like, yeah. bro. I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? You're gonna have to pay me rights now? Like, copyright? Good morning, Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated! New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! You must refer to yesterday, one year you handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. God damn if I'm not hungry. <laughs> what? 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 I was not clicking on that at all! <laughs> See where my cursor is? What the <laughs> okay. Alright, then we're gonna There's definitely less of it left than there was at the start. Ah, uh, that's funny. So, did he say he wanted to do anything? Go to breakfast. Oh, okay. So, I guess we have to go to breakfast and then we can go to the mono machine. Yeah, I've been waiting. 
I'm not angry about the line. Most of it's generic. I never really paid attention to my bed or anything up until now. But man, my old bed at home really was the best. That is a fucking mood. There we go. There's my second coin. Cool. That up. Where are you? Can going? I? I want to see if I can do these things now. No. Nope. Yeah. All right. Dining hall. Yeah. Once okay. it's free time after the dining hall, you should be. Able yeah, to I, I figured. I was just wanted to be sure. Because you know, it let me actually come out here rather than you know shoving me into the dining hall. Yeah. Hey, this Makoto. This a vision of freedom. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Yuck is no surprise, but Strange Talk is not here yet. <laughs> uh, no one Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is? <laughs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? Because I want dip. Uh, uh. fool me, would you make me some tea? Huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, why me? Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? It's fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um. Yeah, okay. Apparently unable to refuse the less sore, Fumi shulked his way into the kitchen. Skull. A few minutes later. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Fumi reappeared with tray in hand, the gentle aroma of the stronger as he approached. Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. I empathetically it. decline. You're not my type at all. <laughs> it's all about the laws of causality. Basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her oh. hands. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we're at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine when I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes. But this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Add milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your frying ketchup, mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add milk during the brewing process. So what's going to happen hmm. is Hifumi's going to get killed. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to go psycho because she doesn't have anyone to make tea for her anymore. Boom, figured it out. <laughs> Well, I mean, so far, he doesn't even know how to make tea for her the right way, so... If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all the travel to make you that tea, and you want me to go even further? Beyond? Yeah, and I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk takes more time to prepare, surely, but why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, we don't actually have a menu. That does not... 
that does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swan. Is that the first time we've seen this? Yes. Okay, you little piggy will bring it right out. Yeah, he's talking about masochists. I mm. think you need to look in the mirror, feel me? Mm, I do so love coercion. You were like a totally different person just now. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> She's sweet, but a psycho, a little bit psycho. I, I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late rivals came storming in. But bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. It was in Byakugan refused to leave his room. I stood there pressing his door over and over, and he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. Maybe. I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what he might have meant. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. I was about to suggest the same thing! What's your problem? That kind of will one-up everyone. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button till I get a response. Owie really just doesn't want to be the one to find him. Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the distance. Uh, um... Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakugan. So where might Byakugan have gone? Maybe he went to go check on this second before the school again. Also, I like how it doesn't matter that we're not reading Yasuhiro's things. Yeah. Because it's all garbage anyway. Um, if you want, we could just go find Biyaki real quick to get out of this and then go around. I figure I would talk to the people in here first. Ah, oh, Mr. Nike, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Biyaki on this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. That's not good at all! Never. This little piggy needs to... I have a holy addict to deliver proper milk tea to my master. To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will save you with all my heart and soul! Okay, good luck with that. If Fumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. Just checking out the rest of this room while I'm in here. Aha! You will give me a coin. And now talk to Psycho. Oh, she's me but a psycho. A little bit psycho. Celeste, aren't you gonna help look for Byakugan? I have not had my tea yet. Huh? For me. Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Anything else I can search in this room on me? Aha! So you thought to come here to school? Huh? So... If you think about Biaki, you were so interested in yesterday. You can probably guess what he is right now. Right? Was it... What was it that Biaki Gun was so interested in again? I wonder. The girl's bathroom. The girl's bathroom, yes. And, and correct. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually thought this was the library. I got the wrong room. <laughs> I passed the door and I realized that now. It was right here. Yeah. I'm dumb. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Byakugan? Well, the things I'd imagined, this most, def this most definitely wasn't hey, one of them. Uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Okay, the real question is, how did no one see him go to the freaking place, get a cup of coffee, and then come up? Because he did it during the nighttime. You can't go in the dining hall during the nighttime. We've had this discussion. 
Yeah, but the coffee in his room before nighttime. The cup is empty. Fuck off, game. I don't know what you want. Together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Byakugan snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. You know, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Byakuga! So this is where you've been hiding! We were very concerned. Hmm. We had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful. What were you- oh shit. What, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Wait, so you can use that you're landing there to betray us? Don't be stupid. Yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. You, what? If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours would be totally boring, right? It's not too often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> his words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you. What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up! But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Are you huh? okay with this? It is part of a game theory. A mathematical model. In a game theory. In in wait, I'm doing the wrong accent. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, this is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resource. I see. You mean kind of like an elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain some which is limited for you to succeed if someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here, in this case. Is that okay? Our, our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So, in other words... So, this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and become, to defeat all the others. That, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaption is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. His smile was filled with evil intent. It's, it twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. Just a second. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply is impossible. You son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe what? it. Believe what? That an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill ya! Like I said, I won't die. Don't bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Test and challenge are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakuga? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. It is because I'm the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. 
but you try to suggest we're on the same level. Close that vulgar mouth oh. of yours. Well, well, I do apologize. Hm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You will need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give their best, where's the fun for me? No. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... It's is, horrific. It's horrific. Friends? Who's decided that? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But... But you... you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me. And just accept what I'm telling you. Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your c mouth closed. Sorry, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead, you can get on bullying people like, that can't fight back? You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You would try that on me! So you're and you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Fuck you! Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you'd waste your breath on such empty gibberish. That's it, you're fucking dead. Hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit. I am calm. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food, and I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakugan left. This wasn't anything we could really do to keep him- there wasn't really anything we could keep him from going. Whatever. His way of thinking was always just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Maybe, but, but what? He, said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you two, Toko. Anyway, well, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? You have yet to give us a reason to care. <laughs> Toko is my wife, I'll have you know. Yeah, but she has yet to even be nice to us once. And she has done nothing but say how much we all hate her. I bet you all want me gone. You all keep them disgusting. Listen, first off, no, we don't all want you gone. But we all don't really want you here either. You need to try to, you know, open a thread of communication here. Second off, uh, I think it's been almost a week at this point. Please shower. <laughs> None of us think that. You can think you don't think that. You think I don't go, but I do. You want me gone? And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait! Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. So I still finished breakfast. Otomir breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh yeah. There's only one place I'm going right now. And that's to hell. But also, to gamble. I've been very impatiently waiting for this. Alright, so... Do you have a preference who we hang out with? No. Do you? Not really, um... Okay, so thinking about it, have we hung out with anyone to get their progress going? You can check. Wrong.
one. F1. It, I mean, it's not because I'm on a controller. Oh. Wild. Mm -hmm. Report card, yeah. Um. I don't okay, well. think we've hung out with anybody besides. <sighs> They'd have more than Might one page if we'd hung out with them. Wait, go back. We, we hung out with Celeste once. Okay, so we're going to be hanging out with Miss Chihiro. Mm -hmm. So, what items do we need? That is a good question. Hold on, before you continue, exit out of this. Check our items. The one we need, which is actually necessary for this chapter, is number 91. Okay, Man's we fantasy. have it. Cool. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, wait, no, 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 no. Keep, go back in your items. Okay. Now we're gonna check to see if we have anything for Chihira. Okay. Uh, she likes number 11. No. Nope. She does like the flotation device, Donut. But also Hina, if we want to give that to Hina, because Hina loves that. Yeah, I'd rather uh, give it as love. Okay, yeah. Then Bird Seed, number 15. We want to give like Chikiro what? I like birds. Yeah. Moving on. They work for the bourgeoisie, though. Um, we want to give them like stuff for now, just so that like we're not wasting stuff. So, uh, check for number 24. Nope. What about number 26? Nope. Damn it. 27? No. 29? Nope. Oh my god! 20... 32. Oh my Oof. Jesus Christ. 33. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. 34? No. Yeah, no. 38? Yes. But... Hina loves that, so... Oof. Okay, moving on. Keep going. Uh, well, loves for Chihiro at 42. We have that. No. Nope. 45? Nope. 47? Yes. We don't no, have any. We don't. We gave one to the <laughs> Sakura. Or not to Mizuno. 51. Nope. 56? Nope. 58? Nope. 62? Yes. Oh, thank god. The only one who loves this is Byakuya, so he could suck our dicks. And the only other one who likes this is Yasuhiro, so he could also suck our dicks. So we've got one. We've got at least one! Uh, 66? 68? 70? Chihiro loves yes. that, so we'll save that. Cool. Um, so we have we have two loves and a like? Yes. Yep. Chihiro likes that. So we have two likes and one love, I think. I actually think I skipped some Elmo? loves. Elmo? Yeah, I skipped... Yeah. I skipped one love, Gabe, if you want to check out number 21. 21. Anyway. We have two likes so far and one love, so we're pretty good, but we're gonna need at least one or two more. I think that's the one that your hero likes. So. Oh, that's one of the heroes liked ones. That's not at all. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that, that thing we just got. Everyone likes it. The skull or the game? The game. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a good game. Yeah. GG. That's blueberry perfume. But, like I said, Kyoko loves it too, so I don't know if we'd want to use it. We, we might as well. Oh, that's the everlasting dandelion. That's a cheer I oh, love. Lucky! Unending dandelion, I mean. So now we have three. I think we're good on Chihiro. So the rest of the shit we get is just for funsies. We have enough for Chihiro now. Pretty sure I already had that phone. Do 
Jesus Christ. So, Gabe, I decided to listen to, like, the first part of Mystery Dungeon that I was in, just to, just to yeah. remember, because that shit's old. It's literally, oh, yeah. like, six years old now. And, oh my god, Raven's mic. He's literally, like, deep-throating it. It's bad. Oh, yeah. Like, Raven, oh, yeah. take a step back. You don't need the mic in your mouth. Those episodes were precious. Oh, lucky. Lol. Nice. <laughs> In the episode, you just said- you just told him to take a small step away from his mic. Yep. I love that my sense of humor has not changed in six years. Because Justin just said you need to get in the zone, and immediately in my brain, I was like, auto zone? And then in the video, I said, auto zone? Go me! Yes, bitch. We stand Same. consistency. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I watch my old videos. Final coin, after all this time. A new item. Alrighty, lucky, so let's get to friend shipping. Stop shipping your friends. No. You and Justin will happen one day, I know it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> or are we? <laughs> what? Or are we? <laughs> Are we what? I didn't see what he said. I got a coin. Oh, uh, God. I mean, you, you can go one more. So, yep, no, nothing else I can interact with here. So the final coin of today. Give it a shot. Anything good? Oh, that's new, actually. Cool. Probably get going now that I have creepy dolls. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna put them on screen, not bother with you. So, we have everything we need forever, correct? Well, not forever, but just for until the next chapter, yeah. So many of these we don't have yet. Yeah, there's a lot of items. There's, um... Giveable items? There's 90. Oh, so it's actually a crystal skull. Okay. Yeah, okay, so this literally is just a reference to... Okay. Yeah. Uh, Byaki on Hero like it, though, so no one's ever gonna get it. You could stop here. Okay. After 90, all the items are just typically, um... There's two items that give you extra scenes, and the rest of them are just the things you get from clearing chapters. Okay. Then... freaking let's go find them. You can check them out. Yeah. Yep. yeah okay. Hey, Chiro. Hey, hey, hon. We're gonna hang out today. Um... We're friends now. Yes. Yeah, I could use a little change of scenery. Um, do, do you mind keeping me company for a while? It's been a nice walk in time with Chihiro. Mm -hmm. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Yes, definitely. Alright, so we want to give her a like, so... Check to see if we have number 11. I don't know what number 11 is. Uh, no, we don't. Um, Is that Ritzy one. Is liked or loved? Liked. Give her that. Thank you. I don't know why she likes Birdseed. No one loves it. She's the only one that likes it. Go off, I guess. Be because we're birds only seat. feeding birds. What? We're only feel it. feeding birds, that's what I mean. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. All right, let's There's go find her again. Left. Typically, I think I found when they're in one area part, they're in the other area, the other part. So since she was in the school, I think she's somewhere around here. If you want to check the map. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, she's in the laundry room. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Wait, oh, this is... Yeah, this is the sauna. Right. I mean, you could check out the sauna, you haven't been in there yet. Yeah, but I... Eh. Should I go do that now? I guess, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the time to Real do quick, it. before free time ends. Yeah. So once you hang out with her again, I'll be okay. This in the warehouse. Yes, I forgot. Walkers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. There's a massage chair. Maybe I'll use it once I get really tired. Haha! -ha. Gambling. Huh. Alright, nothing to do in here. No one important. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just kidding. I love you. Don't hurt me. What? I'll kill you. He is a precious boy, even if he is kind of a spaz sometimes. This bathtub is huge. Very astute of you, Nagy. <laughs> What's this? Is it the heat source for the sauna? Very astute of you, Nagy. Okay. Out of these three rooms, I got one coin. Oof. Are, are you concerned about me? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry to make you worry. Should I try to cheer her up? Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. I think you read this last time, right? I'm happy you're here. Thank you. No, this is a different dialogue. Okay. I took some time to stay with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give? Yes, definitely. More birdseed? More bird seed or a uh, no. Uh, max gloves, max gloves. That one. Okay. Thank you. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. He's a cute girl? Okay. Wait, Monica is a girl? Morning, no. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is Monica is genderless, over. technically. Time it's a teddy bear. But people Get use the bra on me. And they never correct them, so. I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. Uh, real quick, is that about Chihiro? What? what? The cute girl thing. Um, I think so. I know all the Monokuma theaters are, like, low-key references to, like, the next trial, or something that's happening in the game, so probably. I didn't exactly see what it said. I wasn't so... really listening to Alright, I just realized that, uh, I probably should have ended this episode at some point. No, you don't know. Fine. How far are we into this? We are an hour and 48, so this is probably two episodes. Yeah, I know. I mean, minus the time I had to step away and the time I had to do that, so probably like an hour and 20, which still is two episodes. I know. Yeah, okay, so that was two episodes. We just ended somewhere without an actual thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, well, we're going to call this episode here, so guys, next time is the dog spark in my background. We're gonna do more of the this, dogs more know, free uh, time. Nobody's gonna die in Danganronpa, because nobody ever dies in Danganronpa. 
Hmm. Nope. Wish. Nope. Actually, I wish it was just other people. And no one killed them, they just kind of tripped. <laughs> they pulled another. 